some opponents argue this is a freedom of speech issue and the legislation silences an important voice. Opponents contend there's no room for bigoted speech on a commission who's supposed to come up with strategies to prevent and respond to hate crimes. We're all here to hear what everybody has to say. We're all here to be, hear everybody respectfully. And I will not hesitate to stop the hearing if I think that that is not happening. Following a stern warning to the standing room only crowd, which gathered under tight security, committee members got an earful. At issue is why the organization CARE should be removed from the State Commission on Hate Crime Response and Prevention. Delegate Daya Attar wants to remove the group based on social media posts by the organization's spokesperson. There are bigoted comments being made towards others on the group, others that are at risk of hate crimes, and that is not a group that should be on an organization, on a commission that's supposed to be reducing hate crimes. In past social media posts, CARE spokesperson Zaina Chowdhury compared Israel to Nazi Germany. In another post, she criticized the Western media for portraying, in her words, Palestinian freedom fighters as terrorists. She condemned the Israeli government for killing Palestinian civilians, especially children. The goal is not to offend. Baltimore County Delegate John Carden is pushing legislation requiring the AG to develop a code of conduct for commission members and a policy to investigate violations. The bill also gives the AG's office the authority to remove the individual if necessary. The idea is to put everybody on the same plane to make sure that everybody has to follow the, this code of conduct that is generated by the AG. A number of people spoke in opposition to the legislation. The ACLU wants the committee to amend the bill to allow other members of CARE to be on the committee. The NAACP considers CARE an important voice. Giving the Attorney General the authority to remove members politicizes the process in, in, in ways that we don't think it should be politicized. And we believe that the commission um, should be trusted to develop a code of conduct uh, within uh, its membership. The AG's office suspended then reinstated Chaudhry after it determined it doesn't have the authority to remove anyone before their four-year term is up. Reporting from Annapolis, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.